are starting with a clean slate. Okay, I knew I was going to say that at the opening, but as far as the rest of today's video goes, I'm just going to wing it. I have no idea what I'm going to say. We might start talking about rabbits. Uh, I might mention that today is a very cold day here in Winnipeg. It's minus 24.8 right now, and it's warmed up a little since first thing this morning. Uh, yeah, well today we sort of start on the Rodney. Now I don't think we're going to be actually gluing anything together, but we'll get we'll get uh, we'll get uh, started on it. Yeah, it's sort of a special day. Today is the fourth anniversary of when my dear Mary passed away. So why am I smiling? Well, I guess it's nerves. I, I really miss Mary. Anyway, uh, I told you I didn't know how this episode was going to go. Now, we already did a box opening. We looked at the, at the sprues. Uh, we looked at the manual. I'm gonna try and go back at my videos, and, I'm, and if, if it works out, in the description, I will put links to where you can look at the, the box opening of this, of this kit, and, and also the, uh, uh, we, the manual, I think I took a bunch of close-ups of the manual, similar to the way I did the, the Bismarck and the Hood. I think I did. Um, and I'll, I'll put the links in the description below. Uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's sort of recompose here a little bit. Uh, like I say, I, I don't know how today is going to go. Okay, now, we haven't looked in this box for a long time, have we? Now, after uh, I shot that opening scene there, I was able to find the links where we look at the uh, sprues, and uh, they are in the, in the description below. We look at the sprues, we look at the manual, and I think I did a pretty good job. So we don't need to do that again. I think what we should do is uh, uh, we don't we don't need to like I say we don't need to do it again. Okay. I I would think that the smart thing to do. We've already done our sprue check. We know that everything is here. I, I would think that in all likelihood, we should just start with step number one here. Yeah, step number one. Makes sense to me. And just work our way through the manual like we did with the Bismarck and with the hood. You know, of course, we're probably going to skip ahead and skip back and stuff like that. Anyway, why not? Step one. I'm surprised I remembered where I put that. Okay. Yeah, step one. Okay, I realize you're not zoomed in very close and you may not be able to read this, but what it says is make holes. Make holes. So it looks like there's uh, three six, nine or ten holes that we, they want us to make. 
Now, what I'm noticing about this is it does not say what size of holes they want us to make. So I'm imagining that the thing to do is to, uh, well, first of all, let's get our, our part out. remember from a year ago when we were trying to fit this uh, this piece into the into the hull and I was trying to put it in upside down and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't fitting right and I was starting to get a little bit on the disappointed side in fact I was I was quite disappointed and I thought this isn't fitting very good and I realized I had it upside down all right let's just turn this around here now we're going to want to watch we don't break anything off, so let's not get too exuberant here. All right. Um, yeah, here's our three three turrets, and that's that's what's unique about the Rodney and the Nelson was that they were sort of uh, yeah they had the three turrets all all, all on the bow, the main turrets that is. Uh, yeah. An unusual looking ship, wasn't it? Yeah, but it helped to sink the Bismarck, so uh, anyway. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. I feel really bad for all those young sailors that were on the Bismarck. And, and I know they weren't on our side, if you know what I mean. But, you know, uh, yeah. They were just uh, hopelessly misled by their leaders, uh, you know. This. But we don't want to be getting into that, because then you'll get into be getting into a lot of my strange beliefs. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, I guess we have to page ahead here to find out what it is. So for instance, they want us to make a hole. Okay, would it be, it doesn't actually say. I, I, I don't think that they've, well, we'll zoom in and get in nice and close here, and uh, looks like we got a little flaw going on there that shouldn't be there. That's all right. I'm sure once we paint over it, won't won't be able to see it. Um, yeah, let's let's just page ahead and try and figure out what it is that is supposed to go in those holes. So I'm just going to take a moment and do that now. Okay, I, I did uh, peruse through the manual. I could not find out what is supposed to go in these holes. Make holes. Make holes. Okay, so uh, then I, I grabbed the part here, and I'm trying to compare, you know, uh, against the drawing. And it, it's just not working out. And, uh, and then I noticed we got a, a pattern of four holes, and then I, I noticed that yeah, we, we've got a pattern of four holes, but they're on the other side. And then I realized that what this drawing is, and it, it doesn't say that, and unless maybe in Chinese it says it, but it doesn't say that this is the underside anywhere. Um, if we turn it over, then it kind of matches up. See, that here's our pattern of four holes, and four holes. Here's Here's our... Our set, our unusual sets of uh, three. Okay, now, where are we supposed to make a hole? Okay, it wants us to, to drill these out, apparently. Uh, for some reason, they don't go all the way through. Let's see if I can hold this so that you can, can see this. You can see th this hole here goes all the way through. Well, maybe you can't. But these ones don't. So we are supposed to drill these two out, I would imagine the same size that they are now. 
So that that's easy. I just just find a, a drill bit that's going to fit in there. Now, let's see if we can find find this these ones right here. Okay, so we got to make. Yeah, sure. It's it's uh, you know once you steady it a little bit. If if you didn't if you didn't know this could really throw you. If you didn't know, I mean that the, we're looking at the bottom here. This this could really throw a person for a loop, because. Uh, who knows how many of these kits ended up in the garbage because they thought there was something wrong with it. Uh, so we we drill out this one right here, and and these three, and I like I say I think we just make them the same size that they are now. Well, with all the drill bits I've got, I'm sure I've got something the right size. All right, let's figure that out. Okay, right now it is just after one in the afternoon. And I'm uh, checking the uh, comments here. And uh, down here you'll see the very first one, 19 hours ago. Well, since then, there's been a lot of comments come in. And you're going to notice that I did not reply. And uh, not that I didn't see the comments. It's just that there's uh, a lot of comments and I didn't reply. But what I am going to do is uh, those that asked a question, maybe I thought it might be kind of fun to answer uh, on camera. So, like here, here's one just came in three minutes ago. Uh, they're still coming in. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for all those comments to, you know, congratulating me on finally getting through the hood. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see what we can do about the questions that people asked. Now, please, don't start asking questions so that I will uh, comment <laughs> on your uh, or reply to your comments. Anyway, thank you so much. I really do appreciate all those, all those comments. Yeah. Now, if you will recall, about a week ago I was talking about uh, ordering a new computer from iTech here in Winnipeg. And, uh, yeah, I just wasn't hearing from them, and I was wondering what was going on. Well, yesterday I called, and I talked to Jared. Jared said, well, I sent you a quote. And I checked my email. Nope, nothing in the email, and nothing, uh, nothing was in the junk box, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, uh he checked uh, his end, and turns out that he'd accidentally sent it to the wrong place. Uh, <laughs> I hope this isn't a bad omen. Anyway, this is the computer that he's going to build for me. And uh, some of you I know are are big into, uh, you know, you're kind of techie. Um, yeah, these components, do they sound good to you? Uh, don't worry about the price. I just wonder, is the, are these components good? Well, I am kind of worried about the price, but I mean, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, is this good stuff? Yeah, in the comments below, please. Now, I am pretty sure I have said this before, and that is that someday I'm going to make an index for these drill bits instead of just keeping them loose in this plastic box. Anyway, what I did was I, I took a sharpie and I drew circles around the holes that Trumpeter wants us to drill holes in. And now I'm just trying to find bits that are the right size. And I, I got I got two out of this index here, except that the, some of the others are, are smaller than what the index has, so that's why I've got, got these going on. I, I just, just a moment ago found this one here. And this one fits both these holes. Uh, yeah, this uh, that's the way it's going to go. But you know what? I think I'm going to call it quits for this afternoon, folks. And uh, all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. And thanks for watching.